What's up guys, Grim here. Doing a run with the Warlord Paladin variation that I posted a build of yesterday. So, if you haven't seen this build yet, uh, there will be a link at the end of the video. And also it should be in the description below. And I figured I'd do a Warfront with it so that you guys can see how it works. Now it does a good amount of damage and stuff, but, you know, pressure and healers is always a problem, so we'll see how that goes. See how many healers they have. Try to swap up targets as we need to to see who's the squishiest. But the point of this build is that we are looking to survive. In high damage situations, we want to be able to survive it. So this guy is making the wrong move right now. Unless he gets back up, he is going to die. Because this this build here, if it goes up against another warrior, it's going to kill the other warrior. There's no doubt about it. Uh, they're just not going to be able to uh, burst me down whenever I've got really good damage myself. I've got a little extra tankiness from the paladin tree and also I can heal myself so uh oh getting in a little bit of trouble time to start spamming the small heal let's go ahead and stun him and keep the heal going see they're stunning me over and over if I was paragon right then uh oh I still might be in trouble let's spam the small heal Spam the small hill. Alright. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. But if I was Paragon right then, I would have been dead. I would have been dead. Because, uh, you know, I wasn't getting the heals that I needed. So, with that kind of pressure, with them CCing me the way that they were, I would have been dead. True, I might have killed one extra person or something with a little more damage, but you know, what good is killing people if I'm dead? Alright, this is possibly where you're going to see this build suffer a little bit. This healer seems like he's really good, uh, as in good at staying alive, and also he's got cross heals going here, so. You know, two cross healing healers, you're, it's just going to be so hard to get through on these guys. And, you know, look, look, he's even taunting us. You know, it, healing is so strong in this game, and for this guy to sit there and be a knucklehead, you know, it's typical. But it's so hard to put pressure on healers because they just, healers are so strong, man. They, they can they can take so much damage and healing is so powerful in this game let's go ahead and heal up a little bit we're getting low in health and obviously we're not getting enough heals well now we're getting some heals right whenever I say I'm not getting enough heals I finally get a healer focus me but it's obvious we're not getting all that much heals on us, so the fact that we're able to heal ourselves is becoming a big, big advantage. But with these guys cross-healing each other, it seems almost pointless to sit there and hit, hit them. Because they're getting, they're healing each other up. And we're not getting all that great of heals, it doesn't seem like. Uh, yeah. There's just so much healing going on here. That it makes me want to look for a stone. I mean, they're not going to be able to kill me, really. Look, healer ran in here. Gosh, everywhere I'm going to kill people, there's healers. Well, oh. Since that healer left his friend, they're not cross-healing. Big mistake, big mistake. You guys had something special going while you could cross heal each other, but once one of you left, it was game over. 
If we end up winning this match, it'll be because of that move right there. That one healer leaving his cross healing buddy. I mean, we just gained the momentum right there. Those two healers, as cocky as they were, keeping each other alive, screwed up. And it's all because of this guy right here. Is this the one that trash talked me to? Oh, <laughs> that guy. You know, they might be able to get momentum back. Uh, don't get me wrong. But once you get a really good momentum in Port Sion like we have right now, it's so hard to overcome it. I mean, because everybody starts filtering uh, a couple at a time and it's easy to kill them and then you start killing everybody that's running stones and these guys are going to have a hard time trying to come back from this you notice how there's only one healer in the area now and he dies bad move if that was the guy that trash talked me that uh, did that to that team that guy is eating some crow right now. I wonder if he even realizes how bad he just screwed his team. I don't know. He might, he might not. Then again, they might turn it around too. I mean, we're still losing. But look how we're just killing them all now. That's my kill. Dang it. Didn't get the killing blow. Oh well. But look, now our guys are the ones that's running the stones. Is Well, we gotta control the bridge though. Let's go and make sure that everybody's cool at the bridge. You guys aren't taking it over or any crap. Dang it. PVE crap. As you can see, I'm I'm doing really good damage. It's uh, it's just it's not as good as the 48 Warlord 28 Paragon, but it's not too far behind. It's not like you're running around with a tank spec and uh, not doing any damage or something. This build here is doing good damage and good survivability. But the bad thing is, is it puts a tank icon. Even though you've only got 28 points into Paladin and 48 into Warlord, it, it gives you the tank icon. So, uh, you might get some people saying, what are you running tank in Warfront for? That's whenever you go uh, learn the game, buddy get a clue which I did tell somebody that I'm basically repeating what I've already told somebody because here I you know um, I got in a war front where we were already losing and uh, it was like we had it was a black garden where we had like five points and the other team had you know like 400 and I had just got in and I start running up and I kill I think one person and then uh, then I get ganked by the whole other team and the guy said uh, he goes for all of you that are running tank spec in here with your tank icon you know he was pointing at me he was like F you man and uh, I said I said man you need to get a clue learn learn about this game uh, uh oh, I'm in trouble. See, I'm able to just heal myself up and run away. And that's all thank to, uh, thanks to resolution there. Uh, the Putting two points into resolution makes it to where I can spam that small heal while running away. And it's so important. So important. I would not be able to heal myself nearly as much if I didn't have the two points in resolution. But uh, 
Yeah, I basically told the guy off and told him, uh, you know, he needed to learn the game because a lot of times you get flag flagged for a uh, man. I had to pop my big heel there. Every time I get going with the story, they start doing a lot of damage to me. But uh, yeah, I told him that uh, you know, just because I'm flagged as a tank doesn't mean I'm a tank. Uh, having a, su a sub soul of uh, paladin will give you the tank flag and he goes yeah if you have most of your points in the paladin it'll give you the tank flag I said dude I've only got 28 points in the paladin you know you need to learn the game and then I kinda slap my own hand for arguing with people like that Gotta just ignore them, man. Just, just ignore them. Because they don't know what they're talking about and they just want to rage at everybody. As you can see already, I would have died multiple times if I had not had Paladin as my subsoul here. I've been able to heal myself up. I've been able to take a lot more damage. The only thing that it's lacking is that burst damage. You know, whenever you have a burst macro like you do with the uh, Warlord Paragon, that burst macro will catch them healers off guard a lot of times. That's what makes it really good. So if you've got good healers, you, you need to run the Paragon version. But if you are lacking healers or your healers aren't good enough, then run with your Paladin version like this. Now I've got both builds down in the description below. But I didn't care how many healers I had this time. I was going to run with the Paladin version to show you guys it. So, yep, getting the kills too. Getting the kills. Which getting the kills this Warfront may have been a little more difficult because I got that guy right beside me. He's been hitting people along with me the entire time. Which means that he's probably all DPS, probably the Paragon version. So he's probably bursting them once they get a little bit low. So I'm not getting all the kills like I normally would be. He's hitting his burst macro once I get low. Most likely. I'm not I'm not sure what he's running, so Look at that. Look, we're over 800 points now, and they're in the 400s. They were winning earlier until we gained the momentum. It just goes to show, like, that Mally Cleric, or healer, I, I guess he... Oh, I'm in trouble. That's a lot of people. Let's pop some heals. No permission die. Oh, my gosh. I died right at the end. What? I wasn't paying too much attention. I was talking and uh, got too deep in them. And then they pulled me back and then they CC'd me and then they CC'd me again. And Oh well. That's how it goes. Fail at the end. Die right at the end. Well, good kills. Only one death. And that was a fail on my part at the end. But if you get enough people hitting you and enough damage, it'll happen. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and yeah, as usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you tomorrow.